Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Checking in on natural gas. So the bulls saw some nice follow through. We broke the lower high pattern by getting above 3086. So that's when we knew that this oversold bounce had a little bit of momentum behind it. And then here into the close today, we were consolidating. This is healthy consolidation, nice and contained, and we're looking for continuation. So we're looking up at the high of today, 3156 as resistance. And the key resistance level to be watching is on the daily. It's the high of that last bounce attempt. So let's compare the two bounce attempts on the way down it was a we couldn't even break at the high of the first day of the bounce so it was a higher low and a lower high before continuation to the downside but a very clear much stronger candlestick the second day here confirming the bullish reversal candlestick but in order to break this lower high pattern we have to break 3228 that is very key resistance on the daily time frame for natural gas at this point if the bulls want to change this lower high lower low trend that we have been in for the past couple of weeks so all about 3228 resistance. And in terms of support, we're watching the hourly consolidation supports that are established on the way up. So right now I'm looking at 3118, and then I'm looking down at 3081. Those are the first two levels that I'd be looking at of support. But the bulls are still in control on this bounce, and it's going to be all about that 3228 level. Something tells me that tomorrow we're going to be trading contained enough that it's going to be up to the inventory report on Thursday that's going to dictate whether we break 3228 or lose this higher low pattern and head back down towards $3 psychological support. So UNG, you can see the gap up open now where we had the two gap downs, little weak bounce attempt, a couple gap downs, and now this is a stronger bounce attempt. And for UNG, the level to get above is 803 to break the lower high pattern. So the bulls trying to turn things around, a bullish reversal candlestick on the weekly time frame, trying to regain the 50-week resistance as support at 787. And we're going to have to see a strong end of the week and a strong reaction to the inventory report if the natural gas bulls want to change this trend after losing the trend that we were watching where we lost that little higher low tight pattern that did end up breaking and favoring the bears. So pretty decent bull volume, some nice strong close here up towards the high of the day. Look at 320, that psychological level. Aside from beside 3228, we have been unable to close above 320 on three days on that last bounce attempt. So a close above 320 would be a good sign for the bulls. Break of 3228, and we can start to look back for some more significant recovery. But until that happens, we have to keep in mind the bears are in full control, and it's nothing but a lower high and lower low downtrend at this point. And on the daily time frame, we can put our resistance downtrend line here, and that's going to line up pretty conveniently right near 3228. So we'll check back in tomorrow and see how it plays out, see if this bounce and momentum continues as it is currently doing on the hourly. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.